Starting something new is really hard. When starting, all you can see is the mountain of achievement that you're yet to climb. And somehow, you've got to get there. Starting a marathon means taking the first step. Starting a business means coming up with a name. And writing a book means writing the first sentence. For some reason, just doing the first thing is by far the hardest thing to do. So, recently, I finished and read the entire Harry Potter series. And after having read every single book, it kind of got me thinking, how on earth do you start something like that? I believe there was a total of 4,224 different pages in the whole collection of books. I wonder how she felt starting page one. Now for me personally, this is where it gets hard. I'll talk myself into an amazing idea and come up with a full plan. And then when it comes down to executing and starting it, I just seem to seize up. I remember when I was at uni writing essays and that was already quite hard being a dyslexic man but starting. I knew what I wanted to say, but how do I start? Like, how am I ever going to achieve this vision, this crazy idea that I have in my head? How am I ever going to make that happen? <laughs> We're going surfing. This is an easy trap to fall into, and I only have one piece of advice. Instead of saying, I'm going to write a book, or I'm going to run a marathon, just start with, I am going to write a sentence. I am going to run one kilometer, or I am gonna come up with a business name. I think we can tend to believe that a huge idea takes huge effort, which can be true. But a better thing to focus on is a small daily change that can make a big difference. Now hold on, starting a project is the easy part. Keeping it up is the hard bit. Why do you think so many of us have New Year's resolutions that we never keep or diets that we never stick to? As soon as the initial excitement goes, so does the motivation. That's why starting is easy, but keeping it going is the hard bit. So this video was 100% inspired by two books that I have read recently. And the first one is called The Compound Effect. The premise of the book is that if you make small changes every day, it will have a huge impact to your life. And that can be good or bad. It talks about how going 100 miles an hour when you first have your idea isn't a good idea, but instead making a small change every single day can be a much more effective way and sticking to it is the only way to achieve real success. I love this book, I think it's amazing. The other book I read is You Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. It talks about his hardships, his life, what he's gone through, how he came out the other side, became a Navy SEAL, and went on to become a super marathon runner. What I love about this book is that it strips you of any excuse. It talks about you becoming the best version of yourself, becoming everything that you could be. There are no victims in the book of Goggins. There are only opportunities. And that is incredibly exciting. So I hope you enjoyed my first YouTube video. Not quite first, but the first of this kind of style. My aim this year, ironically, a New Year's resolution, is to make more videos and more films. And the only way I'm gonna get better at filmmaking is if I make films. Hence why I'm here making films. My goal is really simple. I just wanna become a better filmmaker. I wanna be able to promote my filmmaking on YouTube. And I wanna get good at storytelling. If you like the video, you know, press the like button, don't subscribe, it just, it goes to my head. It's not good for me. You tell me in the comments below, is it harder to start or is it harder to keep going?